which bike to take. I have gone long distance in her and a long distance in that. I've never gone very far on the 81 R100, maybe three or four hundred miles, but not any big trips. And then there is Christine. Yeah, that's the bike I'll take. I made a mistake. Okay, we'll just bring it down. We'll recover from this one. Yeah, it could 
low flame down there. So right at minimum. So for future reference, I'll set it here to bring it to boil, not max. And then as soon as it perks, back it down. Alright, we still have 30 seconds, but I'm liking the color, I'm liking the smell, I'm backing the heat all the way off. Disconnecting the gas. It's still doing a little bit of perking all on its own. Yeah. Timer's up. So, the moment of truth. We're going to try this stuff. Oops. It's a little warm. It's alright. We're in the garage. We can deal with that. Oh. That looks good, but it is hot. Good color, steamy. I just screwed with all the settings on my camera accidentally. Gave time for the coffee to cool. This is the moment of truth. It's not bitter. It's palatable. It's hot. It's better than the swell I've been getting from the Keurig. All right, we're ready. Rip the Band-Aid off. So, to summarize today, the coffee was good. Very good. Stay tuned as I continue to prep for the 2018 MOA rally in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, as things come to mind that's less important than coffee like tools and first aid kits and how I'm going to get all the stuff on the bike coffee was really the first priority thank you for watching